Easy, James here. Now this video is going to be about connecting your computer to your DJ setup. Um, loads of different questions about this one. Uh, some people wanting to connect um, their DJ setup to their computer so they can record the mix. Uh, some people wanting to actually use um, their computer as like uh, for using DJ software and they want to connect it to the mixer. Um, all that kind of stuff. So loads of different questions. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and answer them in um, as many questions as I can in one video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up because uh, there's loads of different ways that you can connect uh, your computer to DJ setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up. So I've got uh, video number one will be explaining how to connect your computer to your mixer if you want to use like virtual DJ that kind of thing. Uh, video number two will be how to connect your DJ setup to your computer to like record your mix, that kind of thing. And then uh, video number three, I'll go into some more um, like technical things like time code and things like that. Um, also, I found a way of doing time code on the cheap, okay? Now, I haven't actually got this set up personally, but I know somebody that has and it works, okay? So I'll show you about how to do that in the third video. So stick with it and uh, I'll try and get as much information in as possible. Now some people see using computers uh, for DJing as cheating, but some people don't actually DJ on the computers. Just every DJ nowadays has a computer or a laptop in their DJ setup, whether it's to record the mix, uh, record their webcam, um, adding samples, producing, some uh, most DJs produce nowadays. So, you know, computers are used not just for doing DJing on, so I'll try and, um, you know, cover some of that as well in the video. Right, anyway, um, this is video number one, and in this one I'll go into how to connect your computer to your DJ setup so you can, um, like, use virtual DJ or Serato or, um, what's the other one, Tractor, you know, all them kind of software. Right now, before I go into connecting all your kit up and stuff, let's first talk about the actual computer itself. Now, the computer that you're going to use for this doesn't have to have like the fastest specs in the world. It doesn't have to be the most cutting edge, high spec PC. Any modern day PC will do the job for this. As long as it's stable, okay, so it has to be stable. It has at least a, a gig, maybe a couple of gigs of memory. Um, 1.5 to 2 gigahertz processing power and a decent sound card. Most modern um, family PCs or decent OEM machines you can buy from a computer shop nowadays will have that. However, choose your operating system wisely as well. So basically to put it nicely, stay away from Vista. The sound card, most um, sound cards will do the job for this because most computers nowadays are shipped with a Realtek sound card, whether it be the ALC260 or the AC97, whichever one. Um, but <clears throat> most Realtek sound cards that are in computers now can stream six channels of audio. Um, so you just need a sound card that outputs more than uh, four channels of audio. Okay, so maybe like uh, you can get like the creative sound blasters and stuff like that. You don't have to pay a lot for them. Okay, so now if you're running a laptop um, and your laptop hasn't actually got multiple audio outputs and you've only got a single output, which most laptops do, um, really there's only one option for you and that is to go uh, external, get an external USB sound card. Now that sounds expensive and if you can afford one of these really expensive uh, external USB sound cards or interfaces, go for it. Okay, if you can afford it, get one, that's fantastic. However, if you're on a budget, okay, Here's a cheaper alternative for you that won't bust the bank, but it will still give you really good sound quality and good performance, okay? You wanna get yourself a couple of these. Now, the reason why I'm saying to get these is because you can get these for about 20 quid, okay? It's a Behringer UCA202. Now, I've had this one for about, I think about two or three years now, and uh, the newer ones actually have a Toslink connection and an extra headphones output as well, um, but they're about the same price, okay? Now, these things are really good, okay? All you need to do, literally, bung it in a USB port, and when the green light comes on, you've got audio. That's it, simple as that. You don't even need, it doesn't come with drivers um, or anything like that. It works with Windows, XP, works with, um, 
Vista, 7, uh, Mac, Linux, everything, you name it. It's just completely plug and play. And you basically, you've got an audio input and an audio output on there. So what you wanna do is get yourself a couple of these. Okay, two of these will probably set you back about 40 quid. So um, I'll put a link for this in the description if you do want one of these. But if you can afford a more expensive one, go for it. Okay, so now I'll quickly go over what cables you're gonna need. Okay, uh, when it comes to the cables, what you can do is go down to your local supermarket and just go and buy up loads of cheapy audio cables. Well, now these leads are fairly cheap. They cost me about a tenner, I think, for that lot. Now, you can go out and buy high quality audio cables, um, but you could probably get away with these. At this kind of cable length, okay, on an average hi-fi system, you're probably not gonna notice much of a difference, if any, okay? So you can get away with just using cheapy cables like this. However, again, if you can afford them, go for high quality leads, all right? Now, the leads you want are the ones that go from a 3.5 mil uh, stereo jack to two RCA connectors, okay? Um, and you're also probably gonna want a couple of these as well. Um, no, that's the same one. Uh, these go from uh, two RCAs to two RCAs. It's just that on either end, okay? So get a couple of those and a few of these other ones. Okay, so the only other thing you're gonna need other than your cables is a mixer, okay? Um, your mixer has to have at least two channels and it has to have at least two line channels. So pretty much any mixer on the market then. So I'm gonna use this one as an example. Um, a mixer doesn't really have to have an EQ, to be honest, uh, because Virtual DJ and most of the softwares have an EQ uh, on the mixer on the actual screen. So you can just use that EQ, you don't really need one. So um, yeah, so now we've got everything you need. Basically, we need to start connecting everything up. So um, I'll go into how to connect it up now. All right, okay, so here's the back of the mixer. Here's the back of the computer. So what I'll do is then I'll quickly give you a close up on the computer. Well now on the back of the computer, um, you're looking for connectors that look like this. Okay, they're all normally color coded. Now, if you're using the Realtek AC97 um, onboard sound card, uh, when you've got it in six channel audio mode, the green one is your main front output. Your blue one is the rear output, and the pink one is the center and subwoofer output. Right, now if you've got the ALC260, uh, you've got a few extra connections here. The yellow one is the center and subwoofer output. The black one is the rear output, and this gray one here is the side output, because this um, sound card supports 7.1, not 5.1. And on the back of the mixer, it should have a number of inputs as well. And the ones you're looking for is line input. Okay, so you've got line one and line two. These are the ones you're gonna wanna use, not the ones that say phono, okay? Ignore those ones for the time being. You're just looking at line inputs. Okay, so to connect this up, you're gonna want two cables. You're gonna want two of your ones that go from 3.5 mil um, stereo jacks to RCAs on the other end, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna take one of those cables and you wanna connect one of the uh, jack ends and connect it to the rear output on the sound card or the blue one. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the RCA end of that and connect it to line one on the mixer, okay? White to white and red to red. Okay, so once you've done that, you wanna take your other cable with the 3.5 mil jack and connect that one to the pink one here, which is the center and sub output. And take the RCA end of that cable and connect that one to line two on the mixer. Again, white to white, red to red. Okay, so that's it. It's uh, pretty much as simple as that. Now, the reason why I said to use the rear output and the center and sub output is because it then leaves your main front output for your normal speakers. Okay, now if you're using a laptop or your computer hasn't got the six channel audio and you're using one of these interfaces, okay, to connect this up, you wanna connect um, your USB connector on the audio interface to an available USB port on the back of the computer. And you wanna take one of your cables that go from RCA to RCA and on the front here, you should have uh, labels. One says input and one says output. So you wanna go uh, white to white and red to red on the uh, output on the audio interface. And then take the other end of that cable and connect that to line one on the mixer, okay? Red to red, white to white. 
Now, you could, if you wanted to, use one of these interfaces and then use the onboard sound card as well as that interface as well. So let's say, for example, you've just connected that up and then you want to take one of your other cables that have got the 3.5 mil jack and just go to the main front output on your uh, computer sound card and then go into line two with the other end of that, okay? So you've got one connected to your interface and one connected to your onboard sound card. So that way you've still got two channels coming out the back of the computer. You can do that, and you can also do that with your laptop as well. If your laptop's only got one audio output on it, you can do the same thing. So you don't actually have to buy two of these, you can just get away with using one. Right, so now you've got all that connected up, you need to connect your mixer to your powered speakers or amp or whatever it is you connect your mixer to to get sound. So you want to go to your main output on your mixer and I'm just going to connect it to the auxiliary input on this uh, amp here. So uh, just so we can get some sound, I've only got one speaker at the moment, so just so we can test this out. So uh, once you've got everything connected, you need to boot the computer up and I'll show you what to do on the actual computer. Right, okay, so once the computer's booted up, you need to set it into six channel mode. So um, down in your system tray, down the corner where the clock is, you should have this little symbol if you're using the Realtek sound card. Um, if you're using any other type of sound card, you'll have um, a symbol down there for whatever that is. So just click on that, and in Windows 7, you have to accept the, uh, the UAC thing, so just click yes. Right, okay, so once it's loaded up, let me... Um, magnify just a little bit there we go so now you should have a little tab at the top there it says speaker configuration so click on that and then what you want to do is you want to set it to six channel or 5.1 speaker mode which is the bottom option here so click that um, it will go back to 2.1 but it has made the change so don't worry about that uh, and then click OK and that's it job done so now what you need to do is I'm going to show you how to do this in Virtual DJ because that seems to be the most popular one. Um, so load up Virtual DJ. Okay, so once Virtual DJ loads up, you want to click up here on the little config tab and it should be on sound setup by default. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to select your um, 6.1 card um, so you can enable that card to be used. You can use the ASIO setting if you've got an ASIO driver installed. Uh, you can install ASIO for all. I'll put a link in the description for another video where I'll show you how to install that. Um, so we'll use that for now. And what you want to do is up here you want to select what channels you've got it connected to. So you want um, this is the option I'm using chain 1 and 2 sample preview 3 and 4 left deck and uh, five and six right deck. So I'm selecting that one. You want to select whichever one you've connected in whatever order. If you're really not sure, just keep clicking them until you hear something through the channels. One of them is going to be the right one. Uh, click apply, click OK, and you're done. So now what we'll do is we'll drag a track into the player and we'll test the mixer to make sure it's working. Okay, now if you're using a laptop or you're using a Behringer interface and the onboard card, uh, same thing, go to the config tab and then here where it says sound card you want to select two sound cards in here and in these little box here you want to select one is the um, Realtek AC97 audio so select that on sound card one and in sound card two select a USB audio codec which is the Behringer one select that, click apply and you're done with that so that's if you're using that. Right, okay, so now we've got everything sorted out in the software, we need to power the mixer on. Um, plugging it in might actually help you with that. Oh no, fail. There we go, right. So plug it in first, that does help. And you want to have the fader over to channel one and have the channel one fader up. And I'm gonna press play on player A and we should have a signal through channel one which we don't, so more than likely we're going to have it on channel 2. Yeah, we have. Right, okay, so we've got channel... Sorry, we've got player A coming through channel 2. So these are the wrong way round. I could swap this over on the software, but I'm just going to do this the easy way and just swap the channels around manually. So there we go, so we've got a signal on channel 1 from player A. So if I press play on player B, we should get a signal through here. 
a loud one, but we've got a signal. There you go, so if you've seen that, so if you've got that, basically everything's set up properly and you're pretty much ready to go. So there you go, I hope this video's been a help. I hope I got enough information in there for you. Um, I'll put any information in the description. Uh, if you've got any questions, just uh, leave your comments below and uh, I'll try and get around to you as soon as I can. So there you go, I hope this video's been a help. Thank you for watching, nice one.